Welcome to the History in Focus channel. In today's video, you will see rare photos with incredible stories. Be sure to rate the video. Annie Oakley is one of the most famous sharpshooters of all time, known for her incredible skill with a gun. But she was much more than that. Annie Oakley grew up in poverty and learned to shoot to help support her family. She was discovered at 15 by a cowboy impressed with her skill. She became so famous for her shooting ability that she became one of the stars of William Buffalo Bill's show, traveling the world and performing for large audiences. Annie Oakley was known for shooting small objects like playing cards while they were in the air. She was also capable of hitting targets while on the move, making her skills even more impressive. The legendary cowboy William Buffalo Bill Cody posed for a photo alongside his performers. He was one of the great icons of American West culture, famous for his shows and spectacles that depicted life on the frontier. Did you know that William Buffalo Bill was one of the first cowboys to use a rifle? He believed the weapon would be more efficient in bison hunting than traditional firearms. This is one of the only two certified photographs of Billy the Kid, the legend of the Old West. In this image, he is playing cards in 1877, when he was just 17 years old. Billy was arrested and escaped from jail several times throughout his life. He was accused of murdering several people and was involved in gang fights. Despite his crimes, he is still remembered as a symbol of the freedom and independence that defined the Old West era. Finally, despite his reputation as a gunslinger and outlaw, many people who knew him personally described him as polite, kind, and charming. In the photo, we can see the family of Samson Beaver posing for the camera. His wife Leah and his daughter Frances Louise were dressed in typical Estonian culture attire. The culture of Estonia is one of the first nations to have had a significant presence in the American Old West. They were known for being excellent warriors and hunters, which made them a force to be reckoned with at the time. On a day off, Jane and Cowboy Ted decided to go to a bar to drink something and relax and exchange their hats, making them the center of attention in the bar, which made the moment even more enjoyable. They shared their drinks and told stories about their lives in the Old West. Jane was known for being a strong and independent woman who cared little for the social conventions of the time. She was famous for her skills with weapons and for being one of the few women who participated in buffalo hunts. The story of Olive Oatman is one of the most thrilling in the American Old West. When Olive was just 14 years old, she and her family decided to move to California in search of better opportunities, but their journey was interrupted by a tragic event, their family being attacked by native Indians. During the attack, Olive and her sister Mary were the only survivors captured by the native Indians. They were held captive for five years. They were taken to a tribe called the Mojave, where they were adopted by a Native American family. Olive had to adapt to a new culture and learn to speak the Mojave language. She was tattooed on her face, which was a Mojave tradition. Olive was rescued five years later, in 1856. The photo shows a typical bar of the American Old West, located in the Table Bluff Hotel. These bars were popular places for cowboys, miners, and other adventurers of the American West seeking fun and entertainment after a long day of work. The saloons offered drinks, gambling, and often live music and prostitution services. They were also social gathering places where people could meet and exchange stories and experiences. The image in question shows a Gros Ventre camp. Indeed, a dog is being roasted. Although it may seem shocking to our modern eyes, dog meat was a common food source for the Native American tribes of the time. The meat was considered a delicacy and was often consumed on special occasions, such as religious ceremonies and celebrations. The photo shows Jimmy, an 11-year-old boy who was kidnapped by the famous Apache leader Geronimo, in the American Old West. The kidnapping of white children by Native Americans was a common practice at the time, as a way to obtain ransom or as hostages to ensure the safety of the tribes. Although Jimmy was a victim of kidnapping, 
he developed a strong bond with the Apaches and resisted the idea of returning to his family. The process of branding calves was important for identifying animals and determining their ownership. Cowboys used hot irons with the initials or symbols of the owner to brand the calves, allowing them to be tracked and recovered in case of theft or loss. This photo gives us a glimpse of daily life in the American Old West and the importance of cattle to the region's economy. A photo of the American Old West. The image shows the buffalo hide yard in Dodge City, Kansas, with no less than 40,000 buffalo hides on display. The buffalo hide industry was an important part of the economy of the American Old West, with the skins being used for a variety of products, from clothing to blankets and household utensils. This photo represents a time when the indiscriminate hunting of American bison was a common practice in the Old West. The bison were killed for their hides, meat, and other products. And what was left? Piles and piles of American bison skulls, ready to be ground down and turned into fertilizer. The hunting of American bison also had a negative impact on Native American communities, who depended on these animals for survival. Have you ever heard of the outlaw John Sontag? Well, he was one of the most wanted criminals in the American Old West. On September 14, 1904, John Sontag was shot dead in a shootout with the police. But what's even more surprising is that he was not yet dead when this famous photo was taken. It's incredible to think about how this photo transports us directly to that moment. We can feel the tension in the air, see the guns, and the expressions on people's faces. This photo is an incredible historical record of the gold rush period in the American Old West. At that time, many people ventured in search of gold and other valuable minerals on a journey full of dangers and uncertainties. In the photo, we can see an improvised camp where prospectors gathered to rest and resupply before continuing the search for gold. It's amazing to think about how brave and determined these people were, facing so many challenges in search of a better life. At the time this photo was taken, the Paiutes were a group that lived in harmony with nature and had a rich and diverse culture. In the photo, we can see men, women, and children in traditional clothing in a moment of relaxation and socializing. The Paiutes are one of the many indigenous peoples who lived in the American Old West. They were nomadic and lived in harmony with nature, depending on hunting, fishing, and gathering fruits and vegetables for survival. In the Old West, women were often seen as inferior to men and did not have the same rights and opportunities. But this photo shows that women also played an important role. The women and ladies and chaps wore the same practical and durable clothing as men, such as leather pants and high boots for riding horses and working with cattle. They showed that they could be as tough and brave as any man. These photos transport us to a period when hunting was a common and vital activity for the survival of the people in the region. We can see skilled hunters with their rifles and hunting dogs ready to face wild animals like buffalo and deer. However, despite the importance of hunting at the time, we can also see the negative consequences of unbridled exploitation of natural resources. Excessive hunting led many animal species to the brink of extinction. This photo is a historical and cultural treasure that takes us back to the time of the indigenous peoples of the American Old West. Bull Chief was a brave and skilled warrior, belonging to one of the many indigenous peoples who inhabited the Old West. The photo captures Bull Chief's impressive strength and presence, with his imposing posture and serious expression. Unfortunately, the indigenous peoples of the Old West suffered greatly from the invasion and oppression of European settlers. This photo takes us back to a period when medicine was still developing, and treatments for complex medical conditions were limited. But Dr. Sayer, a pioneering orthopedic surgeon, developed an innovative technique for treating scoliosis. In the photo, we can see Dr. Sayer checking the curvature of the patient's spine using a device he designed himself. His technique involved the use of a metal brace to gradually correct the curvature of the spine. 
the incredible story about the discovery of a photo that was bought for just $2 but came to be worth millions of dollars because it featured the legendary outlaw of the American Old West, Billy the Kid. The story begins at a flea market where a collector of old photos found an old image in a pile of old papers. At first, he didn't think the photo was anything special but decided to buy it for just $2. It was only after studying the photo in more detail that the collector realized that Billy the Kid was present in the image, along with some of his accomplices. They were holding guns and posing in a typical Old West manner. After analysis and authentication, the photo was confirmed as one of the few known photos of Billy the Kid. The outlaw became a legendary figure in American history. And this rare photo takes us back to a time when the West was still wild and dangerous.